Keep watching Charis TV. Um, I just want to speak with you a few minutes. And uh, when I was preaching here, I realized that this is a year I want to encourage many Christians to do what is impossible. Because, you know, we have been affected so much. We have been. I'm referring to all of us. To extend that, we think this cannot be done by Christians. Athens are taking everything. I mean, ask your neighbor, what do you want to do this year? With your confidence. Answer your neighbor. Answer your neighbor. Answer your neighbor. You find someone Leonard, going for interview, but is afraid, trembling. Because you want this job badly. There comes someone who's not even learned the way you are learned. Come and break English there, terminology from whatever, dictionary. And the person will be taken. We need to do something. Tell we need to do something this. We, we cannot just sit and watch when other people are taking over everything. And we are Christians. And we are the head. We are not the tail. I'm sure you hear what I'm trying to say. Yeah? People are taking tenders. We are here. Go to airport here. You yeah, see people flying, 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 flying. flying. And you, here you are taking a taxi called Kachivana. We are now sort of taxi and Shiva Evicha Kachivana. And fire, you are Christian. Ah, see, you are not a Polish. You are Kachivana, and Ethan is flying. They were meeting in Uganda. We were meeting in America. We were meeting. They are not even saved, but you, you know the principles of taking you to be on top. Yeah, which you are really holding. Two thousand and twenty-eight says what? Two thousand and twenty-eight ring. It says you are going to be above, isn't it? Above all what? All nations. But you are not even yet above to your neighbors. I pray that uh, <laughs> we start to have confidence. We talk <laughs> like it is happening. I don't know if you hear me. Amen. We must talk like it is happening. Confidence can bring provision. What, the problem we have now is fear. We have fear. Right now you go to estates, it's hazards. Weekend they are drinking beer, non-stop. You can't drink all cold drink. You can't even finish two cups. You just take one cup, you take the whole bottle back because you want this bottle tomorrow. It's not that you are satisfied, you are just saying. Even when you buy a chicken, uh, the chicken that will be bought by you, you that chicken will suffer. <laughs> you suffer. <laughs> you suffer. If you go and buy chicken, they'll show eight pieces. But if it has been bought by you, ah, it's the piece. Ah, yeah, piece. That chicken will suffer. Are we Christians? Eh? Huh? <laughs> we are facing a lot. <laughs> that chicken, <laughs> if it can <laughs> come back, will <laughs> tell you that I don't <laughs> want this man. <laughs> <thing. laughs> And preach against you to other chickens. I pray that God will help you. But I want to tell you something. Which I want you to open your understanding. When you are not right with God. It affects your confidence. It is a sin. That affects your confidence. 
If you are doing something wrong, you won't feel good. You have to hide, isn't it? The Bible says, the wicked will never stand on the congregation of the righteous. But today, it's like all of us who are sinning. To accept that people are no longer afraid of the church. Someone just come and sit here after smoking outside. I pray that from today we maintain our righteousness. We are surrounded by wrong people. And they affect the righteousness of God in us. I don't know if you hear him. So you are not feeling right. Who knows there are some things you are doing which are not right. Today you can make it right with God. Giving you a chance to rise up and come forward here. You make it right with God. Amen. Come if you are here. Clapings for those that are coming. Come and stand here. Don't look at anybody. You are here for yourself. Come, come. Don't look at anybody. You are here for yourself. Come, 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 come. God loves you as you are coming. It's not time to please anyone. You are here for yourself. Even when you die, you die for yourself. You live for yourself. You are not here for anybody. This life, you, the Bible says you are appointed to live once after that you die. Come. I'm waiting for you. Go bazo kizono ebe gizienza namshazi sovala when we are singing listen to your heart go go so Zonki zono Ewe Gise Za Nam shazi So Ala Ewe Gise Nibako Pindu Kulu So what? Uh, mm-hmm. 
My focus has been shifted because I have no confidence in you. But today I come back to you as my Lord and Savior. Wash me with the blood of Jesus and sanctify me with the Holy Spirit. Make me your child again. I thank you for sending Jesus for dying for me on the cross. Give me confidence that I may walk in righteousness, that I may be committed and focused in that which you have called me for. I thank you for loving me and for saving me in Jesus' name. Amen. Welcome to the family of God. Lay hands on each and every one who's here. And uh, when they lay hands on you, you can go back. By laying hands, we are agreeing that truly you are saved. And the Holy Spirit is filling you, is coming to you to guide you. You will follow the God of the Bible. God of the Bible. Welcome to the family of God. God bless you. After you are laid hands, we are agreeing. We are agreeing. With you, you are saved. You must know that Satan will come with other plans, will come with other ways, will do what he was trying. He wanted to do the same. The prayer you have prayed here, already you are translated from darkness to the kingdom of light. Amen. Amen. So Satan, listen to this. Satan wants you to confess defeat. He wants you to sin. That's what Satan, Satan wants you to do. What has brought you forward here? Satan will still love, will still want to see you doing it. Are you hearing that? So tell yourself, I'm not going to do it. You have confessed today. It will come in all different ways. Are you hearing that? Uh, listen to this. You must never condemn yourself. Never condemn yourself. Don't allow Satan to remind you your failure, your weakness, your what what of the past. If you have confessed, there's no more condemnation in Christ Jesus. You are saved now. So that guilty is gone. There's no more condemnation. Are you hearing that? So no one can say you are guilty. So remember, you must have confidence. Tell yourself that I'm not going back from this. Let's take you have a girlfriend or your boyfriend. You say, I'm not going back to this. Maybe the girlfriend or, or boyfriend is buying you grocery. You tell yourself, no, hey, I don't want to do this thing because of grocery. My soul is more than what? The grocery, isn't it? The flesh is still the same. But in spirit, you're no longer the same. In the spirit, you're no longer the same. So now, you, even when your flesh is here, if your flesh is here, if your flesh that to be powerful to call your spirit back, deny that. Because this flesh will remain here. Don't allow your spirit to come back to the flesh so that they be thrown together to hell. I don't know if you're hearing that. You understand? So you are there. You are hidden with Christ. So now you must check your identity with him. When you are there, who are you in Christ?